Hey guys, so I thought we'd try something a little bit different this week. Loads of stuff happened, and I thought that maybe instead of trying to compartmentalise everything into the work, social and Oxford specific stuff, I could go through my week chronologically and just sort of explain things as they happened. So let's travel back in time to the distant past of Monday. I came back into the lab after the weekend and found that the code that I'd written to do my job for me over the weekend had one error in it. So I had to fix the code in the morning, which didn't take very long because it was one line which was wrong. Um, and set that running. Then in the afternoon I had a meeting. So I'm part of the Ocean and Climate group um, whilst doing my master's project and we meet every other week to discuss what we've been doing in the past fortnight. So um, for instance I was presenting the work which I'm doing on my linear stochastic modelling and saying well we've got everything set up now we're just waiting for the computer code to run. Whilst for example one of the PhD students in the group was presenting his work on um, modelling uh, ocean convective currents. You have these really deep ocean currents going through say the Pacific um, of, of water of different density because the different salt content, for example, and trying to represent that in a simple model. On Tuesday I went to the library in the morning to finish off some notes on a textbook that I needed in order to do my problem sheet for the week. Then I went to the lab to look at the results which I, my computer code finally produced. And then in the afternoon I had the privilege of being able to go to this climate symposium. So loads of different departments in Oxford do climate research. It's not just atmospheric physics. You've also got, as you'd expect, geography, uh, earth sciences, and they also had uh, some representatives from the economics department. And it all took place in the Sheldonian Theatre where you, when you come into the university you take part in a ceremony called matriculation where you officially become part of the university and then it's also where you graduate and you collect your degree. It's some really interesting research that's going on and they were talking about everything from looking at the effects of volcanoes on the atmosphere, looking at the um, economics of, sort of things like carbon trading, carbon taxes. We also had uh, one of my lecturers, Don Granger, who was talking about measuring the atmosphere from space using satellites and sort of some of the physics that was involved. And then in the evening, I was spent almost all the evening reading up on uh, papers for reasons that will become clear on Wednesday. But I left the library for uh, just a couple of hours to go to the Physics Society social and elections. So I'm a member of the committee for the Physics Society, I'm head of publicity, but there are loads of different positions, you know, the secretary, treasurer, president, all that kind of stuff. And we are elected by members of the Physics Society, and in order to be elected we had to have elections. We had drinks and snacks and pizza, uh, and it was a great chance just to meet physicists from other colleges and sort of all have a bit of a moan about the work. So Wednesday was the reason I was reading up all these papers, and it was because I was going to this PhD open day at the University of Reading. I was shortlisted to attend this uh, this day. There are about 27, 28 people there, I think. Unfortunately for me, um, the supervisor which I was really interested in um, wasn't there. So unfortunately, I've gone all the way out to Reading for nothing, which was a shame, but a chance to wear a suit. Then I came back from Reading, went to the lab, got a few more results from my programs, set a few more programs running, and then went to see Brian May, as in rock god Brian May of Queen. So the Oxford Union uh, hosts speakers like Brian May all the time, in fact most days of the week. But this time around it was Brian May and he was speaking on the Badger Cult. Um, so he talked for about half an hour about this issue which he's really passionate about and then we had a big Q&A session and that ranged from everything from the Badger Cult to his uh, doctorate in astrophysics to a large section on his music career. So compared to all the different things which happened on the previous couple of days, Thursday was a kind of boring day, but it was a very essential day because I had a problem sheet due in on Friday and so I was working pretty much all day. Um, and when I say all day, I mean from about 10 in the morning till about 4 in the morning. So then Friday, I kind of, I guess, already covered a little bit. Um, I went to the library early. I just got a couple of hours of sleep, went back to the library, carried on working until I just couldn't do any more. Went to the department, handed in what I had, and then went to the, lab the lab to do a little bit more programming and finally get some concrete results down. So it's almost like the first phase of my project is now definitely complete. And now there's an extension to the work which I'd like to do. So Jamie, you asked me in your video, what the most inspirational speaker that I, I'd been to in, in Oxford have been. I think if I had to choose one person which was really inspirational, it might actually have to be Brian Wax, the Physics Society talk from last week about string theory, purely because he really got me buzzing again about theoretical physics. You just get to see so many people here, it's very difficult to choose one person which really defines you. So last week I asked my subscribers why they want to do the subject they're going to do, or at least what they're going to say to their tutors in their interview. Why did you choose to do PPE? And my question to you guys, the viewers, this week I've been talking about a lot of the awesome extracurricular stuff that you get to do in Oxford, like Symposia and the Union, that kind of stuff. So what do you see yourself getting involved with once you get into Oxford that you do outside of your subject? Um, as ever, if you have any suggestions for what you'd like me to cover or questions you'd like to ask, leave them in the comments. And um, I will see you next week for the last video of this term.